Watching Pyre's emotionally gripping story unfold alongside exciting real-time tactical battles is an experience on par with hearing a world-class musician perform a difficult piece with equal parts talent and soul. And speaking of which, the music is superb. Now let the rites commence. The intricate but easy to follow story casts you as the reader, an unseen character flung into the center of momentous events that are shaking the foundations of a finely crafted fantasy setting. It's a distinctive cross between Dr. Seuss and H.P. Lovecraft, where the dark and the whimsical mingle seamlessly. Your task is to put together a kind of mystical sports team to compete in an arcane ritual called the Trials, which is the only way for criminals exiled to a bleak underworld to earn a pardon and return to the shining commonwealth from whence they came. Interactions with the diverse, lovable, and many-layered party members and the constellation of memorable opponents and side characters who surround them take place in a delightfully hand-drawn overworld that you navigate via something approaching a visual novel or the campaign of a Fire Emblem game. Branching storylines have become common in games, but it's rare that one integrates momentous, gut-wrenching choices with other elements of the gameplay as deftly as Pyre does. Of all the earth-shaking decisions I made throughout the 20-hour campaign, some of the most emotionally affecting involved granting a character's wish to leave the team and seek a better future. I knew I might lose a star player, but I gained the emotional satisfaction of rewarding their loyalty. Pyre delivers exactly the kind of heartbreaking, beautiful, instrumental and vocal backing tracks that Supergiant has become known for. The main theme is twangy and aspirational, whereas one group of enemies that is basically a pack of bloodthirsty talking dogs are heralded by aggressive, chugging electric guitar riffs. And it's all wonderfully united by a common mood that evokes a fallen world trying to be better. <laughs> The Trials are at the heart of Pyre, a hectic, highly tactical real-time battle system that feels more than a little like a fantasy world version of NBA Jam. While there are three characters on a team, you're only able to move one at a time, which gives rise to a whole range of tactics based on positioning your inactive teammates to passively defend your own Pyre. Each of the eight campaign characters has highly differing mobility, aura size, respawn time, and special abilities. Small, fast characters like Rookie Greentail can outmaneuver an enemy team easily, but typically don't deal as much damage to the enemy pyre for scoring a goal as their larger, slower counterparts like the bullhorned demoness Jodario. Some characters can fly over the heads of the enemy, forcing them to make well-timed jumps to prevent a goal. Some can block off areas of the field with deployable aura totems, while others can explode or teleport short distances. The possible team compositions are many, and the tactical considerations add depth and meaningful challenges to each match. Close victories are made even more gripping in the context of the campaign, where the outcome of a match could decide the fate of a character you've come to know and love. Outside the campaign, there's a 1v1 multiplayer mode with the ability to play against bots or other humans. The AI is decent, but against other people, it's a whole different ballgame and a real test of skill. One of my only disappointments with Pyre is that the head-to-head -head mode is local only, so you can't challenge your Steam or PSN friends across the world to a match. Somebody get the From the art, to the music, to the story, to the tactical gameplay, and even to how they're all woven together so artfully, Pyre is an adventure that excels in every area of its design. It's an epic journey that made me feel thrilled, devastated, and awed, and its tense moments had me tugging at my collar both in and out of its fast-paced mystical sports arenas. With an emotionally charged ending that saw so much I'd striven for come to fruition, but was still tinged with tragedy and melancholy even when I did almost everything right, I won't be able to get Pyre out of my head for a long time. A favorable start. Sublime!